Welcome back to my channel. I hope you are doing well wherever you are in the world. Today we have a very fun video because we are going to talk about my 2024 luxury bag collection. Now the last time I did this video was back in 2021 so I was definitely overdue for an updated video on that topic. And I just wanted to do a little disclaimer before we start. For some people this is going to be a lot of bags, a lot of money spent on these kind of items. For other people this is going to be not a significant collection, not a lot of bags. To me, this is really a well-curated collection that I spent years building, so I feel very grateful to be able to purchase those items, and I feel very uh, proud for uh, how it looks like today. I think it's very well-curated and it's very me, so hopefully you will enjoy this video and you will like it as much as I do. And if this is your first time watching one of my videos, welcome. My name is Nicolas. I'm a Frenchie, as you can hear from my accent. I'm located in California, and I've been in California since 2013 now. So definitely a while. The accent is still there, though. And I've created this platform to mainly talk about fashion, luxury items, or like today, bags. So if this is something you and I have in common, please don't hesitate to subscribe to this channel. That way we can become internet friends. I'm very close to achieve 3,000 subscribers on this channel, so that will really help me out if you subscribe today after watching this video. Thank you guys. And this is how we are going to proceed. We are going to talk about my non-Hermes bag first, and then on the second part of this video, we are going to discuss my Hermes bag collection. Hermes is definitely one of my favorite brands as far as bag goes, so... It requires its own section in this video. And spoiler alert, pretty exciting news. We are going to do a new Hermes bag unboxing at the end of this video. So definitely stay tuned for that. I think you are going to be very surprised. I don't think you can guess what bag it is, but it's a pretty unique one. So please stay tuned for that and let me know what you think about this new bag in the comment section down below. Okay, the first bag I purchased was this Louis Vuitton Kipol 55 in black epilaser with gold hardware, as you can see. So I purchased this bag back in 2017 through Tredeci at the time, which has not been purchased by Vestiaire Collective. So it was definitely a pre of piece. And I've used this bag so, so much, especially the first years I got it. I was taking this bag everywhere on business trip, on weekend with me, road trip, sleepover, you name it. It was always with me. And it shows. <laughs> it has definitely been used. There is a lot of like white mark and scratches and all of this on it which honestly doesn't bother me at all i love the used look on this bag so seven years later i'm still using it quite a bit but i don't take it on a plane with me anymore and the main reasons are it gets pretty heavy to carry it through the airport so i generally use this bag when we go on a trip by car and the second reason why i'm not taking it on a plane anymore is because i think i've scratched it quite enough putting it in the luggage compartment that I don't want to, I want to kind of like protect it a minimum. <laughs> I sent this bag at the Louis Vuitton spa a couple of times and they have definitely removed some of the mark here and there. Something I have added a few years later was this little tag with my initial on it. And something I've recently discovered was that the key of the lock can go in this little place here. The inside of the bag is basically a big black hole. It's made with this like very thin suede and you also have a little pocket on this side. It's perfect for two or three days and uh, uh, it's, it's a very good looking bag that is very understated as well. I mean if you don't know if it's Louis Vuitton you will never guess. There is just a little LV right there. If you are looking for a similar piece, there is a ton of those in the pre-love market. It doesn't come with a strap. That may be a negative point for some of you. I love the look of this bag without a strap. To be honest, I love just like a top handle situation. So yeah, that's the first uh, bag in my collection. Let's move on to the second one. The second bag I purchased was this Saint Laurent pouch that I brought directly from the Saint Laurent boutique here in California. I love the, the crop and boss effect as well as a little Saint Laurent Paris silver plaque here. It's very understated, very chic in my opinion. So what I like about this pouch is first of all its size. I think it's a pretty versatile size. It's not too small or not too big. Inside it's a one compartment situation but you have two different pockets on the side. It doesn't go all the way down, but it's enough to, you know, put your keys or put your wallet, put your phone, and you even have some uh, card slots in 
one of the side of the bag I think you can have you can put six cards uh, on, on, on this bag so it can double as a wallet uh, you know if you are going out with it talking about wallet I initially purchased this pouch because I bought the wallet from the same line few months or a year before I bought this pouch so I like having you know both of those generally I use them at the same time I like uh, I like my uh, match matchy situation <laughs> and so I use this pouch a lot the first couple of years I bought it mainly as a evening clutch or like a daily clutch really and then I put it to rest and I was even thinking of selling it until I purchased my new iPad Pro, which is the iPad I'm using to edit all of my videos for YouTube. And it turns out that this iPad Pro is fitting pretty damn good in the pouch. And so every time I'm traveling with my iPad, this is the case I'm using for it. I don't think Saint Laurent is doing this model anymore. I think the most popular one will be the same type of design, but with the YSL logo, which I'm less a fan of. Off. Uh, but if you are looking for this particular model with the plague, I'm pretty sure you can find it on the pull of market for a very decent price. So yeah, that's um, everything I can tell about this bag. The next bag I purchased, I don't have it anymore. It was a Louis Vuitton crossbody bag called the Milk Box. I think it was a design by Virgil Abloh. I bought it in 2020 and used it for a couple of years. Loved it. I think it was a great, a great style, a great design. It was not the most practical bag. And after a while, I realized that it was a little bit too flashy, for lack of a better word, for my style. So I ended up selling it. But it was a, it was a great bag, and I'm glad I had it in my collection at the point because uh, I really enjoyed it the time I, I had it. The next bag I'm going to talk about is one of my favorites in my collection and yes, you may hear me say that quite a bit during this video, but when I'm talking about the uh, Loewe puzzle bag in large in this beautiful uh, light caramel color with contrast stitching as you can see. I got obsessed with this bag back in 2019 I believe. At the time there were like few reviews on YouTube about the small and the medium version of this bag but nothing really on the large one and then I remember watching the uh, Loewe what was it, the spring 2020 and the fall 2020, I think this bag was featured in both fashion shows. And I remember thinking like, wow, I love, I love this version of it. I love the fact that it comes in a larger version than the small and medium. And then I remember going to Paris in January 2021, enter in the main Loewe boutique in the Faubourg Saint-Honoré. And allegedly, <laughs> that was the last piece that they have in Paris. So they sold it to me. And, I was over the moon. I love the way it looks. I love how versatile it is. Uh, you can wear it in so many ways. You can wear it on the shoulder, top handle, obviously, crossbody. I love the small pocket on the back. And inside, you can see there is a big zipper here. And I store it with some other wrap, as you can see. Again, that's a de very decent size, perfect for every day. Loewe has a fantastic customer service. I brought this bag probably three times to the Loewe Spa and every time it was free of charge, which was, I think, amazing. They did like some glazing touch-up here and there. It comes with four fits as well. I love this bag so much that I purchased a second one back in 2022. It was a um, black grain leather puzzle bag and I love this bag, but I ended up selling it because I just realized that I didn't need two large Loewe puzzle bags in my collection and definitely this one made my heart sing way more than the black one. And also, I was using the black one mainly when I was going out. I tend to wear all black uh, at night when, when I go out for dinner or to, you know, a bar uh, with, with some friends. And I was using this bag and this bag was way too big for me to carry at, at night, so I ended up selling it. As you can see, this is the Edge version. I think that was the first model that they created with this version. Definitely a favorite in my collection and a piece that I will probably have forever. Oh, and don't hesitate to check my review on this bag. I will put the link on the description down below. But basically, most of the bag I'm talking about today, there is either like a 
you know, review of this bag on my channel or like an unboxing where I'm talking more in detail about those bags. So don't hesitate to check that. I'm going to put all of the links on the description box down below. So the next bag I bought last year, pre-loved, and I don't think I ever talk about it on my channel, but this is my Balenciaga work bag in this beautiful brown color. I think it's called Autumn. It was from the 2009 collection. So the work bag has been created under Nicolas Guesquier, which has done an amazing work at Balenciaga. CT1 is definitely the one that is the most popular. It's a smaller version with this one that comes with a strap. And I'm not too mad about the fact that it doesn't come with a strap or a bandoulière, because I think it looks great again, just top handle, and you can even like pull it on the shoulder like that if you feel like it. So this bag is in lambskin, which is very, very durable. It's very, very lightweight. I love the color of this bag. You can find a lot of different work bag, different color, different uh, hardware on the pre of market for such a good price. I think I paid around $400 for this one, which is kind of like a slippery slope because we see all of those good prices on those bags and you're like, should I get another one? And you can see the original color of the bag. I think it looks fabulous. It's really my grab and go. It does fit my computer. Inside of the bag, it's basically a big black hole. Very simple. You have the Balenciaga plate inside of it. And above the plate, you have a little pocket where you can put a business card. You know, your phone. It also comes with four feet on the bottom, which I love. I don't think the CT bag is coming with a forfeit. Honestly, I will not mind having a couple of others in my collection, especially in black and like a fun color maybe. The next bag in my collection is a bag I purchased in 2023 in Japan, and this is my Bodega Veneta Large Hope in fondant, which is this dark brown color. So this bag was launched last year under Mathieu Blasi and uh, I immediately love it when I saw it on the runway. It's a very big bag as you can see. I think it looks pretty good on my frame but even if you are more petite uh, I think it will look amazing either. It's such a roomy bag, it's such a practical bag, it's very understated. There is only like a small branding in this bag which is inside, you can see the small Bodega Veneta here next to the pocket, right there. Oh. Well, I was looking for this jewelry, so perfect. I've used it so much. I've used it on the plane. I've used it, you know, as a, my everyday bag when I can put my computer in it. Uh, it's, a, it's a very um, a grab and go bag, as you can see, like most of my most of my bags in this non Hermes collection. If you don't know the Entrechato leather, you will not guess it's a Bodega Veneta bag. There is no big logo in it. The color is very, you know, very subtle. You can wear it at night or you can wear it during the day. Yeah, I think it's a, it's an amazing piece that uh, I think will be forever in my collection. I strongly rec recommend it. I think it looks very good with different type of outfit. I think Bodega Veneta is putting the accent on this bag because they are constantly launching new colors for it. I think for this winter they had a very beautiful suede one. Honestly, I'm happy that when I bought this one, the thread was not an option because I will have not known which one to choose from. So I'm glad I focused on this one, <laughs> but the thread is very beautiful as well. So yeah, I don't have anything negative to say about this bag. It's, it's, such, a, it's such a beautiful piece and I'm so glad it's in my collection. Okay, so let's switch to the second part of this video, which is all about my Hermes bag collection, which I'm so proud and grateful to have. Those bags have been purchased for the past four or five years, so they, this collection didn't happen overnight, obviously. They have all been bought pre-loved, so none of them are coming from the store, and I strongly believe that I got a good deal out of all of them. So this is generally how I will store my Hermes bags when I'm not using them, so in their dust bag. The first Hermes bag that I purchased was this Hermes Kelly 35 in box leather, dark brown as you can see, with gold hardware. This bag is from 1992, so it's a vintage piece that I purchased through a reseller on eBay in July 2021. So if you have followed my recent videos, you have seen that this item has recently gone through the Hermes Spa and they have done an amazing job. I also purchased this little Canna charm, which is from 1992. This is a Pelican in gold. And I'm also keeping the strap in the little dust bag as well. And the strap that Hermes created for me when they spun the bag was this one, which is really matching the color of the bag. And that's why this bag is very versatile because I can carry it on the 
top handle, on the shoulder, but also crossbody if I want to. So as I was mentioning, this is a 35, which is really a great size for me. I think it doesn't look too big or too small for like an everyday use. Yes, it does fit my computer, but now that I have a larger bag collection, I don't really tend to use this one when I need to carry my computer. Inside of the bag, so I have put a bag insert to not really keep the shape, but mainly to avoid damaging the inside of the bag with a pen or like something like that. And inside of the Kelly, I have a big uh, zipper pocket here. And you have also two pockets on the front. So it's a pretty simple bag, pretty simple design, but honestly, it's I think it looks amazing. It's such a classic piece. Yeah, it goes well with a lot of different outfits, to be honest. I think I would like the bag to look more casual than very, like, you know, uh, proper and uh, chic and elegant. These bags are obviously getting well known, but if you don't know that's an Hermes bag, again, you cannot guess. For me, it's a complete work of art now. And yeah, that's a beautiful piece in my collection that I think I will have forever. The next piece is not really considered as a bag, but it was the price of a bag, so I'm definitely gonna include it in this video. And this is my Hermes Kelly wallet in Alligator, and the color is gray elephant with gold hardware, as you can see. So this little piece has been purchased in 2022 through Vestiaire Collective. And you can see that I have added this elephant cadenas to this wallet because the color is gray elephant and the cadenas was an elephant, I thought it would make sense. So you have the typical Kelly lock. By the way, it has gone through the Hermes Spa as well when they have changed all of the, um, all of the hardware. And you have two compartments as you can see here. And those two compartments are divided by a zipper where you can put some coins or other cards if you have other cards. Behind the card slot, you have two other compartments here. It's a definitely very, very practical wallet. Very practical inside. That's true that outside, if you are in a rush, uh, it can be a little bit annoying to open and close it, you know, every time. But Honestly, I don't really mind it. I use this wallet quite a bit, to be honest. I don't really travel with it because I don't really want to damage it. You can even fit your phone in it, like so. You can see it's fitting perfectly in it, and you can close it, no problem. I love exotic when it's done on small pieces like so. I think it's so chic and timeless. I love using it as a small clutch also sometimes when, you know, for, for date nights, alligator is very durable, but also the water is the worst enemy. I honestly haven't seen another piece like that on the Pool of Market. And trust me, I'm scanning the Pool of Market on a regular basis. So I feel very lucky and grateful to have it in my collection too. Fast forward to September 2022, I thought my Kelly obsession was quite behind me with the acquisition of my box brown one until I saw this one on eBay for such a good price, probably like half of what it does retail for right now. And this was my second Hermes Kelly 35 inbox laser with cold hardware, but this time with this beautiful brick color. Not the most easy to pair with an outfit, to be completely honest, but I think for me it's such a beautiful shade of orange. This remind me of Toulouse. This is a city where I come from in France. And this city is made with a lot of bricks, so it, it's called the pink city because it has a lot of like red, orangey, pinky shades. And this bag is definitely to lose in a bag, you know. Obviously this is box leather, so you can see some scratches here and there. The corners are a little bit rubbed, but honestly nothing, nothing too major. It's from 1999. It came with the strap. I think it's such an amazing color. Again, not very easy to pair, but with the right outfit, I think it looks fantastic. I generally love to pair it with um, the same type of shade, so like brownish slash a rusty type of color. What I love about this item is the contrast stitching also. My curated mind doesn't feel the best when I look at this collection and I see that I have two of the same bags, That's the only difference being the color. I cannot see this collection without one of the other. I think this bag will look phenomenal phenomenal in a smaller size, like a crossbody situation, smaller size, but I haven't seen it on the 
a resale market yet. So for now, I'm keeping this one, I'm using this one, I'm loving it. Let me know in the comment down below which one you like the most between those two. I'm very curious to, uh, to hear about what you have to say about those bags. And so as you have understood, I love my Hermes Kelly 35. I think they're such amazing bags. And I've initially bought them as a, I wanted to use them as a work bag. I wanted to, you know, put my computer in them, go to work or go to clients meeting with them. They can replace like a briefcase. However, I tend to not use those bags for this purpose anymore because first of all, they are they kind of delicate due to the box laser. I love box leather, I love the fact that it can scratch and I'm, I'm not really too delicate with my bag but I realized it became kind of complicated to travel with them. I cannot really wear them when it's raining or snowing. At the end I don't think it was working for me to go to business trip with those bags which was kind of unfortunate until I found this one. This is my uh, Hermes Kelly Depeche 38. So same as the classic Kelly, you have different size of the Hermes Kelly Depeche. This one is the largest one, I believe, 38. This one is from 1995, so it's a vintage piece once again. And it's in Arden leather, which is a leather that has been discontinued since now. It's one of the heritage leather and it's very, very durable. As you can see, it's in black with gold hardware. I mean, this bag is a briefcase, so it's completely designed for work purpose. My computer is fitting in it. It's a three compartment situation, as you can see. It's probably my most use Hermes bag, to be honest. The only issue with this bag, it, it can get a little bit heavy. I'm carrying it like that under the crook of my arms and it's uh, it, it's fine. I might send it to the Hermes spa at the point because the lock here is pretty loose. And I'm also wondering if I should buy an additional strap for it. Uh, there is some good pricing on the on the pre-love market right now. It's not as expensive as your typical Kelly or typical Birkin. If you are in need of something a bit more like businessy looking, that's definitely one of my favorite in my collection. I was not expecting that from this bag. Okay guys, now that we have this bag collection out of the way, let's go to another fun part in this video, which is the unboxing of my new Hermes bag. So as I was mentioning in the beginning of this video, I recently purchased this new Hermes bag through eBay, through a Japanese reseller once again. And it came in this orange dust bag, which was pretty new for me. Any guesses? Honestly, if you are guessing right, you are pretty good. That's a discontinuity also model. And without further ado, let me introduce you my new Hermes Sokeli in Togo leather, blue jean the old blue jean, not the new one, and palladium hardware. And it's a Sokeli 26, meaning that it measures 26 centimeters on the bottom, and there is also a 22, which is a smaller version. How beautiful is this bag? So I know, I mean, if you, are, if you were expecting this to join my collection, honestly, you were pretty good because I wasn't expecting this to join my collection either. I think it was about time that my collection become a little bit more diverse in terms of like color and in terms of style. For my next Hermes bag, I really wanted this bag to have Palladium hardware. The Togo makes so much sense for me for this model because as you can see, it's a very slouchy, kind of like a buzzass, grab and go, a chill bag. And I think the Togo leather is really accentuating this vibe and this style of, of the bag. Inside of the bag, again, it's a big hole and you have a couple of pockets here and there. So you have a pocket here and you have a close pocket, a little bit like the, your regular Kelly, just here. Let me know if you would like to see a complete review of this bag and how I can style it because Again, I don't think it's been talked enough on the social media platform. And I think this bag was launched in 2008 under Jean-Paul Gaultier, which is one of my favorite designers. And Jean-Paul Gaultier, I think, brought so much edge to Hermes. But I think blue jean makes so much sense for this bag. It's such a cool uh, summery bag. It's in honestly perfect condition. You can adjust the strap here. So you can double it like that and pull it on the shoulder. And you can also just single it out like that and make it a little bit longer. Let me know what you think about it guys. <laughs> and as far as like what other bags I'm considering, what's next in my wish list, I think I'm missing a small black crossbody bag and I would love to add a petite mal from Louis Vuitton in my collection in black epi leather with gold hardware. I haven't pulled the trigger yet because I'm not sure how I feel about the loud hardware so I'm still thinking about this. 
And in terms of Hermes, I would love to add a Birkin 40 in my collection. And the one I absolutely love is with Barenia Faubourg Leather with Palladium hardware, with silver hardware. This is a very, very exceptional piece, a very rare bag, so we'll see how I can get it, but that's my number one uh, bag I'm thinking about. And that's the end of this video. Thank you so much, guys, for watching once again. I really appreciate all of your support, your likes, your comments. It really means a lot to me. As I was mentioning at the beginning of this video, we are almost at 3,000 subscribers, so if you are not subscribed yet, please do not hesitate to do so, that way uh, we can achieve this number ASAP. And once again, I hope that wherever you are in the world, you are doing fantastic, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.